Okay, so I have never made enchiladas before, and I made some tonight, but I didn't put like the jalapenos and peppers in it, because I don't like spicy stuff. But this is, it has onions, and tortillas, gluten-free tortillas of course, because I'm gluten-free right now. So this is chicken, so. It's good. I like it. Thumbs up on my homemade enchiladas. Alright, so I didn't film yesterday. Today is Thursday. I'm leaving in a little bit to go back to my mom's. I was there this morning. And my brother has to go to um, a thing we call a kids club at my parents' church. And so, um, my aunt usually comes back around 3 4 o'clock. I have to leave like five minutes. Um, so my aunt, I said, you know, I can come over around 2 o'clock. Um, that way, um, it will give you some time to, um, you know, you can ask an extra time at home. You don't have to come at 2. I'll be here at 2. So you can kind of do, it'll give you some extra time to do what you want at home, do what needs to get done at home. I have laundry worked on here. Um, stuff is just going to be a simple kale salad, so that's all taken care of. I also have to cut up some things when I get home. I also have to pack up some drink and a snack, and then I'll be headed out. So as soon as you guys know what's going on, um, sorry I didn't post on Wednesday, but I will post this Friday or Saturday. Okay, I know I'm in my pajamas and it is like a quarter to nine. Um, there's our really cool clock. This clock actually runs on radio waves, so you can't really see it. Okay. Sorry about the zoom I'm trying to get to go all the way back out. <laughs> Alright, so I'm still in pajamas. Um, there is a rhyme and reason. Um, I am having a really bad headache and a really bad sore throat right now. Mm. So what I'm going to do, that's why I'm doing this early this morning. Because um, I don't know if I'm going to have a voice later. Um, you probably can hear it. It's kind of not the greatest today. I was my throat and a little bit of a headache. Um, so I don't know if I'm gonna have a voice later today or tomorrow. I'm hoping I have a voice tomorrow. Um, because um I precious. I'm gonna say hello. Oh you're gonna talk now. You never talk on camera, hey. Yeah. Um, so I don't know like if I'm going to be able to do it tomorrow. I, I'm hoping because I want to do my service tomorrow and I have to practice today. So I'm hoping I have a voice tomorrow. I'm going to drink a lot of hot tea with honey in it today and silver and water. I'm going to put new lemon in my water. So I'm going to be doing that and hopefully Hopefully, I feel better tomorrow. I'm tired. I'm really tired. Um, so hopefully I feel better tomorrow. And hopefully I feel better. Hopefully I can talk and am able to do my service tomorrow. Because if I wake up with laryngitis tomorrow morning, I'm going to be so bummed. So. We'll see. Because... Saturday we're going out for breakfast and then we're going over to my mom's for a little bit because she wants to see David and then we're going to the grocery store. So I gotta print out that menu today and take stock of what I need. Oh that's Hera. Good morning Hera. Good morning Willow. Yeah you're chatty today. So we found out that Willow growls also. We did not know that. Excuse my outfit. I am still in my pajamas. 
So we did not know, but Willow growls. We actually heard, well, I did not. David heard her growl on Wednesday when he was home and I was at counseling, so. Yes. So. I will try to do an intro this weekend. I know exactly what I want to do. I just need to find out a way to do it. So hopefully. Hera's eating and it's just like, it's like she's starving. It's Christmas. All right. I will talk to you guys Monday. I'll be doing a live. Hopefully my voice does not go. Bye-bye. Alright, like and subscribe. If I get 20 subscribers, I will get $20 of infant clothing to a foster care organization. I know we didn't talk much about certain things this week. I promise next week we'll get more into that. I just want to tell you one thing that I have learned Growing up in a Christian household, you always can say you have the sickness, but you also want to say the sickness does not have you. For example, I have endometriosis. Endometriosis does not have me. And also, I have a TBI. But TBI does not have me hope survives.